agriculture is the largest contributor to the nation's gross domestic product and is recognized by this administration as Nigeria's most important asset. The National Young Farmers Scheme is driven by the National Agricultural Land Development Authority, which is saddled with the task of harnessing the full potentials of the arable land in Nigeria. Nalda is being resuscitated after being abandoned for close to 20 years. To this end, President Muhammad Buhari has ordered that all Nalda's abandoned farm estates be retrieved. This is expected to enable thousands of youths to be engaged in farming and ensure that agricultural mechanization is achieved through this scheme. Agriculture is the backbone of our economy and the largest contribution to our GDP. But we could do more to expand, modernize and revolutionize our agriculture which is our most important asset. The scheme is aimed at empowering 1,000 farmers each from the 774 local government areas across the country and is to cut across all facets of agriculture. NADA's mandate, as contained in the act that established it, is to bring development to the rural communities through the entire agricultural value chain thereby creating job opportunities and wealth for the teeming population. Governors believe this will go a long way to address youth unrest in the country. This scheme has been in the works in the last nine months. So it is further evidence that the president has always had the youth of Nigeria at heart, that he's busy thinking about what programs can solve their access to land as indeed we have solved their access to capital. See the target is in addition to a lot of money that has been put in place to revitalize agriculture under COVID uh, intervention. Now this one is coming again. 774,000 youths to be engaged in one form of agriculture or the other. The president of the Senate agrees with the governors and sees the flag off of the Young Farmer Scheme as the best response to the ANSAS protests. And of course that means that 70% or even more of our youth are in the rural areas. And this sector, the agricultural sector, will provide the kind of opportunities that other sectors of the economy cannot. While this may be a great scheme on paper, Nalda now has an uphill task convincing the teeming youth who have been disillusioned by lack of job opportunities that going back to the land is the surest way to improve their fortunes.